For the Endean Trail, if you continue on down uh, Plimpton Street to Dog Rock, if you look immediately to your right, uh, you'll see a, a map or a kiosk or trailhead. There's parking um, right near Dog Rock for a few cars, four, five, six cars. Um, the trail um, is identified with, uh, with amber-colored markers. And at the far end of the Indian Trail, over towards the Indian Estates, there's a trailhead, which is on, it goes by either Mansion Drive or Indian Drive, but it's uh, the road that, when it leaves Washington Street, it heads up a hill, and partway up that hill. If you look to the, uh, if you look to your left, to the west, um, you can see the, uh, the trailhead there. So those are a couple trails. Um, there's been some activity on those trails, which is why I'm spending so much time talking about them. Uh, this past summer, two Eagle Scout projects were undertaken. One on the uh, Indian Trail, uh, a scout built a, uh, a bridge, a trail bridge across a stream to sort of reroute the trail away from uh, a chronically wet area alongside the Neponset. And uh, a little bit farther down, the same scout um, built a, uh, a bench under a nice uh, stand of hemlocks. It's right next to the Ponset River. Uh, the hemlocks are really tall in that spot, and it's, it's very clear underneath. There's no underbrush, and it's just a, a really nice spot to, uh, to maybe have a snack or just to get away from the world. Uh, the um, Toll Brothers did a pretty good job of um, keeping the houses set back far enough from the trail so when you're out on the Indian Trail you really can't see the houses very much, uh, even in the wintertime when the leaves are down. Uh, an interesting thing about that Eagle Scout project is that, that the materials were donated uh, by Toll Brothers, so that was a, a very generous move on, on their part.